Hi, and welcome to my video, and today we're talking about Geist 2. Geist 2 is a uh, pattern making drum software uh, sampling program from F Expansion. And I was a big time fan and user of Guru, their uh, the one that their program that came before Geist so they came with Guru and then Geist and then Geist 2 so I only bought Geist when they they came out with Geist 2 so I kind of skipped it for a while and I just used Guru I re I'm a real big fan of Guru um, one of the things that I think people love about Guru is that you can take a pattern um, uh, or you can take a drum loop, uh, extract the pattern out of it, and then change the instruments in the loop. Um, so there's so much quick flexibility right at your fingertips in Guru, and that made it really a joy to use. And then um, the ability, the, one, the other thing that I like about Guru um, is... Uh, you can also use it as sort of a DJ kind of um, mixer. So when you're making a track, <clears throat> you can have all your beats uh, patterns set up, and then you can just switch, switch, switch them up, and mix them. And so you can sort of make a track in real time. And I really enjoyed doing that. So then I finally got Geist Two. And I was frustrated for a while after I bought Geist 2 because I was like, I was really used to the workflow of Guru. And I wanted to have the same sort of gratification that I had with Guru. And I was having a little bit of problems figuring it out on my own. And then I looked at YouTube videos and I still couldn't get it. And so the reason I'm doing my video today is because I'm pretty much sure that I've kind of got the workflow that I enjoy now again. So quickly, um, here are all the uh, engines and you can just reset all engines. Yes. Okay, so that sets it all up. There's nothing in there anymore. Okay, so here's your browser. So you can find your, um, you can find your loops. Um, here's all my guru loops so I got all my guru loops here um, so there I can load the guru loop in there and uh, so the slice button here it's kind of weird because if you put the slice button on then this is all disabled and you can't use this so here I'm going to show you the workflow. The workflow is to choose, the first thing to do is choose your engine that you want to be working with. So I'm choosing engine one to start. Um, so choose the engine you want to work with. Find your loops that you want. Um, if you hit the A button here, then you can audition the loops. Uh, uh, yeah, so you can just choose. Choose um so you can just choose your loop that you want to use and double click on it and then you can hit slice. Okay, that gives you this slice window here, okay? So remember what I said to do is don't have it in slice, turn slice off, choose your uh, engine,
turn your engine on. Just choose one engine at a time. Turn all the other ones off. Okay. Um, you want this transient se selected. Slice selected. And then once you choose your loop, hit slice. Double click it, then hit slice. And then the A is to audition. Okay. So then what you want to do is if you hit audio and pattern once, then it gets the pattern okay so audio plus pattern okay and then hit done okay so there we go and then this is the play um, you can turn off your slice now and then here's play okay let's turn let's make this like Okay, so it's not very smooth, right? So yeah, I turned off Groove Agent. Uh, so there's Groove Geist. Uh, you can use this. I'm using it with Cubase. And it seems to be locked to the tempo there in Cubase. Okay, so let's try a different one now. Okay. So we'll go stop, slice, um, or select your engine. I think that auto load and slice does a better job. Auto load and slice. Okay, that's pretty good there. Okay, now, now we go to engine two. Okay, so there's engine two. 
auto load. Uh, let's choose different uh, group of stuff. So let's slice it. Okay, hit uh, done. So there's two drum loops. Okay, so now we'll go to engine three.
audio and pattern. Slice off. Okay, so here you have it. This is just three engines. So that, anyways, um, after owning Geist 2 for a couple of years, or a little while anyways, yeah, I finally figured that out. Um, so that's kind of the quick and dirty way of getting right into Geist 2. Um, I think a lot, of a lot of users, if they made a video to do it like this, I think a lot of users would have jumped on Geist right at the beginning because... I mean, doing it this way is like super fast. So anyways, uh, I'll just quickly go over what I did again. And that is, is that um, you wanna right click, reset all engines. That'll clear all of everything. Um, make sure slice is not selected. And then choose your engine. Turn your, turn your engine on. Or, uh, yeah, so uh, we won't turn it on right now, but choose your engine, turn it on. Find your loops. Um, A to audition your loops. So you just click each one and then it'll audition. Um, then when you found, uh, so we'll try engine four. Um, when you found the beat you want, um, hit slice and don't hit auto load. Don't use auto load, just use slice and then use audio and pattern. So you have to hit audio and pattern, just click that once and then click done and that loads it. And then here's your pattern window and it's there. Now it's in the engine. Okay. And then... Turn off slice mode. Turn off slice mode and then you can go into playing your playing your engines now. So anyways, that's just a brief, brief glimpse at Geist 2. And it's how to get in there quick and dirty. Um, so you can use all your guru loops and you can use your Geist content. And I think it looks like you can have just as much fun with Geist 2 as you had with Guru. Thanks for watching.